Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Just a few days ago, the nice guys at IDF Projects released a new surface-to-air missile system in DCS. It is, of course, Iron Dome, the SAM system that Israel are using to defend their lower territories from unguided rocket attacks from the Gaza Strip. Now we have the SAM site, of course, we need to test it. We are going to place an Iron Dome system and shoot a whole bunch of stuff at it from various eras. Here is Iron Dome. It's a fairly simple system. It consists of three types of units. A command point here, a radar here, and the launchers themselves, each of which contain, I think that's 20 missiles. So it's a very high volume site. And of course, you can have multiple launchers per battery. We're going to throw at it today. First, a very relevant ex-Soviet BM-21 Grad. Each of these units fires 40 unguided 122mm rockets. And this is actually the most common system that's been fired into Israel. Then we're going to do some make-believe. We're going to fire an American HIMARS with the PRSM missile from a huge range and see if that can be intercepted. Then a modernized M270 from America firing Gimler's missiles up to 16 missiles per unit. Then back to Russia, but modern. Eskander K first of all, which will be firing subsonic caliber cruise missiles. And then the M version, which of course fires high altitude hypersonic missile. Then aircraft. First, and really strangely, but why not? We're going to do a 1940s World War II raid against Iron Dome. We want to be thorough here. It's important science. Then a kind of 1970s, 1980s, late Cold War strike against it. Then a 1990s, 2000s mission using weapons like AGM 88C harm then we're going into the 2020s with f-35s carrying the agm 88g argum er long-range modern anti-radar missiles and then finally because it's a weird video why not 2020s chinese surveillance balloon let's see if that can penetrate I think, guys, we'll start with the aircraft because that's going to be a bit more fun to do. And then we'll move on to the ground launched missiles. Needless to say, we've not tried any of this yet. We're just going to set it up mission by mission. We're not going to script any results and just see what happens. But just from this overview that my guys can see here, we've got about 10 of us today. Hello, by the way, guys. Hello. 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 Obviously, the BM-21 is going to be intercepted. We know it can be intercepted in real life. What about supersonic precision missile from HIMARS? What about Gimlers from M270? What about subsonic and hypersonic missiles from Russia? What about a low-level strike? What about a medium-level 1990 strike? What about a high-level 2020 strike? What about a World War II bomber formation? And why not? What about the balloon? I mean, if it's uh, anything similar to its real-life counterpart, Rockets are extremely tiny, and for mm -hmm. this system to have between uh, reportedly an 85% to 97% success rate in shooting down these rockets, if it acts like that, then I think it'll be able to manage these just fine. Roger Crump, and um, probably a good person to ask, actually. Is it American, or is it Israeli, or is it a kind of coalition system? I don't fully understand. It is, it is an uh, Israeli-developed system. I think it's got some U.S. funding for the research, but yeah, definitely uh, a homegrown system from Israel. Everything will be shut down by the Iron Dome. Maybe the Shikanda could be a problem, the, the M, but everything else is no problem. Yeah, I think the M version is going to get through. Um, the only other potential issue is um, how many how many missile batteries are you put in? Is it just one or two to three like they... I'm doing a super battery. So we've got one target here sitting in a fairly flat area of Israel, just south of the Sea of Galilee. There's a target here, which does not involve any humans. Don't demonetize me. It's just a building with no humans in. You can have some robots if you want. Defending it is what I call a super battery. It's a bit unrealistic, but I want to really test how good this system can be. So it's got a CP, it's got a radar, and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tails, and each tail carries, I think, 20. So that's 200 missiles. So it's a really well equipped site so i think unless there's kind of three or four rocket batteries like the high miles or the 270 to overwhelm the track radar um yeah i think it's just the hypersonic that will cause an issue i'm going to do my predictions guys grad no high miles no 
Gimlers, no. Eskander K, no. Eskander M, oh my god, I have no idea. Um, yes? A 1980s low-level Cold War strike. I don't know. Depends how good we fly. 1990s firing a bunch of harms. Mm, probably not. A 2020s Argam ER strike from 100 miles away. Probably not. In we can't model all of the features of the very modern Argam ER and its EW and whatnot. So probably not. World War II strike. I don't know. I mean, they're very small missiles. Can a missile of that size? And they are very small because they're only designed to blow small targets up. Take a World War II bomber down? Probably not. Uh I don't know. All right, guys. Um, we've had some rough predictions there. We're going to start kicking off. I think we will start with the World War II raid. Stand by. So we have a World War II raid. There are 48 B-17s in box formation, each equipped with 12 500-pound bombs. They're starting about 30 miles away. According to a quick internet search, Iron Dome has a range of about 40 miles. In-game, at the moment, it has a range of about 20 miles. I don't know which is correct, and it's not that relevant for what we're doing today. Anyway, so I've started them 30 miles apart, and they're going to go and bomb the test thing. Anyone think they could get through 48 bombers? They're small missiles, you know. I mean, even though they're small missiles, we got to remember that uh, big caliber guns took down bombers Fair comment. in World War II, so... Yeah, but it's DCS, so it's, it's a bit strange. We fired Phoenixes and they, they not killed. Yeah, fair comment. It'll be 17. Well, there you go, viewers. There's the Sea of Galilee, otherwise known as... I've forgotten, but it is otherwise known as something else. There is CP, there is the radar, which presumably is search and track. I don't know that for sure, but I don't know at all, mm -hmm. actually, as a guess. Oh, crap, look at that! Oh. <laughs> In <laughs> unity! Oh, my God, I was not expecting that. As I was just say, as ever, viewers, we don't script these for views. We just see what happens, so you're going to see some weird stuff like that going on. Look at that! Wow. All right, Grum? In yeah. perfect unity, they're firing. Would you do that in real life? Why not? Why not? I mean, uh oh. Obviously, it's not Ooh, they are coming in fast. Look at that. It's like it's a small missile. If anyone knows what warhead size, let me know. But I certainly don't know. Ah, stop. Oh my god. Look at that, Viewington Wilmington's. Oh, the B-17s are not happy. Oh, they're dying. Look, they're dying. Look at that. Yeah, about what I expected. You were right, Graham, but all the things appeared to. Have... Look at that. Thing to have happened. It's a 90 kilo missile overall, so I'm I'm guessing it's going to have lighter than me. Like 12 pound, 12 pound It's tiny. Warhead. It's like yeah, a stinger missile. Hmm. Uh, there's like one or two still going. Right. Well, yeah. Oh, they're all still going. Question mark. They're what? dying. They're I, dying. I think they're, they're all crashing. They're dying. Yeah, they're dying. Let us all. What is the what size of a um, sidewinder in comparison? Why well, a sidewinder is 22 pounds, about 10 kilos. Ah uh, yes, your gear down, that'll help. Yeah, obviously that had a huge um, effect. I bet they lost the hydraulics so the gear yeah, comes that, down on the medic. That's exactly what it would be. Uh, guys, let us, just purely for giggles, I'm not allowed to swear anymore, viewers, now baby's here, I'm not allowed to swear, so you must shout at me if I swear. Oh, you can't see how many have been fired, that's annoying. Oh, yes you can. No, you can't. Never mind. I've got nothing to say about that, it blew them all up and they're all dead, like, immediately. Maybe one more shot of them all dying? They're 100% dead. Looks like they've been working on the damage models of these bombers because, like I said, that's a small missile with a small warhead. And remember before, they would they would accept like 500 pound warheads and not die. So it appears that's been sorted out now, which is good. Right, uh, I don't want to waste a view it. Oh, God, sorry. Also, I'm going to watch them crash. Also, look, they hit exactly in the front and the big hole in the front now. Is that a day for the uh, alien? Fire raining from the sky, it's a meteor shower. It's great though, I mean, damn, my slash our job is amazing. Look at this. There goes the last one. Alright. I'm using single core, not multi core today because we're using mods, obviously, and multi core doesn't work very well with mods. Let's go on to the next one, which is going to be the Cold War fighter bombers with unguided bombs. We've got Vigans here from Sweden because they're really good at this. We've got some Harriers there, American, but they're representing, say, British round roll Harriers from the 70s and 80s. Got some American Tomcats representing, uh, whatever, Tomcats or maybe some British RAF tornadoes. Uh, we've got some Mirages somewhere hidden behind there representing Mirages. The target is going to be about 25 miles away. The key is going to be speed. It's going to be lowness and attacking 
roughly at the same time. The more guys we get in the airspace at the same time, the more confused that SAM system is going to be. Cap, actually, yes. do you know that I remember in course of the B-17s, the Germans developed a surface-to-air missile in the end of the war uh, called the Wasserfall. It was basically, II. yeah, in World War Two. Ah. It was basically v, um, a V-2 yeah. with a guidance package <laughs> similar to the Fritz X. I bet that so, never worked. Did they fire? Oh, it? They, they they tested it and they fired it. But never got over a testing stage because of end of war. Wow, imagine that view. There's a bunch of V2s firing up from positions with... So the, the Fritz, I was sure, was radio controlled. As in, you know, a guy with yeah, a Fritz stick guy did it. It's a it's, uh, manual guided line of sight. So you've literally got to guide that V2 onto the bomber formation by eye, pretty much. Although that would have been cool because it would have carried a thumping great whatever it is, 4,000 pound warhead or something, would have done a lot of damage. You basically only need to hit one B-17 and all of it go down. Yep. Yeah, just aim for the middle. <laughs> yeah. Was it as effective as the uh, British pigeon homing missile though? Pigeon homing missile, wow. All right, viewers, yep. um, we've not tried this, but we're just gonna try it, guys, follow up. Careful not to bump into each other, there'll be plenty of room to catch me up and I won't go too fast. Right, viewers, I haven't actually flown for a while now, so I'm... let's get a feel for this baby, shall we? How hard can it be? That's what I always say. 200 knots, or whatever they are. 200 somethings. 300. 300. Fly up. Wow, look how fast that Tomcat is. Jeez, this fly. Um, not really supposed to overtake me, but okay. F110. Uh, do a circle and come and find me again. Guys, I'm going to level off at uh, low altitude and 500 clicks per hour. Guys, stay low. We are actually in the range of the site, so line of sight is everything. All right, Viewington, how does Iron Dome cope with an old-school 1980s Cold War attack? That's my guys. Hello, guys. Got to go and burn her. I've managed to stall myself out. I've got a super cut. Hello, fly. Yeah, I already noticed that you guys are very slow. <laughs> is that a display skin from the 104, uh, from the F104 that you guys ran? Do you yes, sir. Is? Oh, let me get you right. It's called Vikings. Vikings. German, from the German Navy uh, display team in wow. the 80s. Hang on, Navy? How could Navy have had starfighters? What What were they running? Yeah, you, you need to note that German Navy operated from land. <laughs> and um, fired Comoran missiles from the 104, so anti-ship missiles. Yeah. I'm going to be learning a thing. I did not know that. Did anyone else know that? Pop guns? So you're saying a missile that was used to fire another missile? Ladies and gentlemen, Starfighter. <laughs> Pretty fighter. much. Hello, Grump. We, they oh, carried f up to four Comorans down. on, down. Oh, you get shot. on uh, the 104G. So it's basically a sea skimming missile. Early, but very effective. You're just going to see this from my screen, unfortunately, so you're just going to have to figure out what happens. If you die, let me know so the viewers know that you've died. Distance is... Uh, oh, we're getting close now. That's about 12 nautical miles. Right, I think it's time to punch it, guys. I'm going to mill power. Obviously, it goes super low now. Don't worry about formation. I'm up to 700 clicks per hour. It's going to get flat, and that's the bad thing. Yeah, right, this side of you. Roger, I guess every man for themselves at this point. Cap is going on first stage burner. 800 clicks per hour. Starfighter is very fast. Right, viewers, it's in there somewhere. Altitude. I see missiles coming up. Right, altitude's anything that will save you. Yeah, I'm masking. If you, can, if you can cope with supersonic missiles, then we can't outrun them. There it is, viewers. Oh, there's a missile. Jesus, there's a missile coming right towards fly. You're going to die unless you do something. No, you've dodged it. Good man. Me. He's coming towards me. Oh, sh oh Jesus Christ. Don't Best swear, don't swear. Sorry. Sister is complaining. Not allowed to swear anymore, viewers. Baby, you'll hear me. Missile launch. Right, just, just charge it now, guys. Oh, my God. Got that. Oh. Someone's down. Yep. Yeah. Trim it out. Got the fly. That's right. Punch out. Grumps down. Under those. Oh my god, look at look what's happening, viewers. Oh my. Um. Thing happened? Well, we were definitely on the deck. Yep. Down. 
Yeah. No one's Coming getting down. through. No one's getting through. Look at it. Is, is everyone yeah. dead? Is anyone not dead? Uh, Gans is still flying at trouble takeoff. Huh, right, Gans. Um, I guess it's all up to you. Look, each one of those viewers is where we got blown up. So we didn't get anywhere near it. Gans, I want to uh, see German efficiency here. Yeah? I'm gonna try my best. Uh oh, first one coming. Good dodge. Good dodge. Oh, we turned! He turned it <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> You Ingtons! That was just. Oh. That was cruel. <laughs> That was cool. <laughs> All right, guys, we've got a really good idea of how good it is at firing at low moving targets. I mean, is that that good in real life? Who knows, right? It's probably never been used to fire an aeroplane. Guys, we're now moving to 1990s, 2000s with harms. Um, we are going to use M16s, F18s, and probably flying an F14 for mopping up duties. I think oh, it's the something. second time for me flying a Borg. It feels so, so weird. You know what that is, Gans? Two times too many. <laughs> yeah. Oh. A firm to that, good sir. All right, guys. There's one important thing I need to say to you, and that's how we're going to do this. We're starting obviously unrealistically close. We're 25 miles away. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off. We're all going to go west. That's 270. We're going to fly 50 miles out or something to the sea. Then we're going to turn around and simulate the attack. There's no rush to get airborne. I'm going to start taking off. And hopefully, I remembered how to set this jet up, which I probably have. That is all. Right. Well, just to inform you guys, I don't. You can be a meat shield for us then. <laughs> In the face! Turning 270. There's my boys. It's nice to be back at Grim Reapers. This is my first day back full time, viewers. Obviously, been busy with Super Baby. Yeah, I said Super Baby. And you've been away as well, Grump. Where have you been? You've been producing uh, Super Babies too. No, no, I've been dealing with super work. Oh, look at Grump working for a living. What a friggin' sap. How can 1990s equipment deal with uh, Iron Dome? Anyone know how modern Iron Dome is, by the way, guys? The fog is. Pretty modern. Yeah, pretty modern. Those of you interested, I'm using AGM 88C, coupled with a HTS, a harm targeting system, basically an Elid's pod. We'll do the attack about 50 miles away, so we've got 20 more miles to go. Hello, Mr. Viking. Hello, Mr. Cap. You do like that delivery, don't you? Yeah, it's the only aerobatics team we had over last one. Because of German politics, we're oh, not allowed to have any uh, Fun. Aer aerobatics team anymore. I, I was just thinking about that. You guys, I've never seen a German aerobatics team. Oh, what? That's weird. N not That's the military. There is still like extra 300s and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that doesn't count. Everyone wants to see big jets doing it. Guys, what I'm going to do is now is a full reheat Immelman. Once we've reached the uh, fulcrum, I think, fulc not fulcrum, what's the word? Crescendo? I don't know, peak of our Immelman. It's weapons free and you can start firing. Follow me, Flix. Oh, these bombs are heavy. Good lord, to fit to give you enough power to do an Immelman, even with the bombs, hopefully. Yes, sir. Reach about 20,000 feet at this speed. I'm honest, I'm so scared. Once I drop this Mark any force, the bl <laughs> still with a parachute, the blast damage just rips me apart. Probably. Engage at will on the nose, uh, 100, about 50 miles. Do it and make an effort, guys, to fire roughly at the same time. So hold fire until I'm firing. I'm in the range, I'm just waiting for a few more. I'm going burners up to 40,000 feet, guys. I want to get maximum boom boom on this thing. The faster and higher we fire this thing, the faster it is we'll hit the target viewers and the harder it will be to intercept, obviously. Expedite pull up. Still way by that outside its range. The power of the F-16 viewers. F-18, not so much. Leveling out just to get supersonic. Help the missile through the sound barrier. Distance to target is 35 miles. We'll fire at mm, probably 30 miles. So we're going to shoot the radar. Obviously viewers, flyers going in for the boom boom. Reacquired. All right, guys. Three miles. We'll be firing. It's firing at me. Fire. Everyone yeah, fire. I see missiles. Magnum. Magnum times everything. Oh my god, I'm getting fired at. Okay, viewers. I am just gonna eject. So I just wanna watch. You guys carry on. Try not to get shot. 
Right, here we go. Irondo is definitely firing. It calls them Tamir missiles, whatever that is. I don't know what Tamir is in the end. Yeah. There's us, look, 30 miles away. Uh, yep, my boys are safe, I think. Flyers going in low, obviously. I think it's not going to intercept them. I see missiles turning towards me. Okay. I think it's going to miss. What's going on? Missiles are all going the wrong direction. What the hell? Um, viewers? At this they point, look like go everywhere, yeah? you literally know it. No, no, it's no, they're not. It doesn't matter. I don't know what happened there. Something happened. Right, they're getting shot there 100%. Oh, what's going on? They've gone all weird. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, viewers. Oh, they made it through. Look at that. Old 90s. We've done it. We've done it. They didn't even shoot at the harms, did they? They tried, and the missiles all missed. I watched them coming out. Oh. That absolutely smashed. Well, I'll let you go and finish it off, Fly, but uh, we fired so many. I don't know what that was for you. I mean, you know as much as me at this point, but we, I guess we fired I so many missiles, it just got I, confused. I still see missiles that like doing loops. Hmm. These missiles will go dumb now because there's no radar for them to home on to. So let Fly do a thing. Where's Fly? There he is. Remember the viewers, we don't script these for views, we just do it. If it goes weird, it goes weird. Did you say these are retarded, Mark 84s? Uh, yeah, we're balloons. I didn't know they existed. Mm, I mean, what, it's, it's kind of not last really, update, the... but before. All right, do a thing. That's an order of. I should blow himself up. Nice fly. Very nice. Wow. Right. Bit on target. How rare is it that a, um, a Grim Reaper position actually works? Very rare is the answer. Well done, guys. Um, we're going to move on to the next one, which I think is a 2020 attack. Well, welcome back, viewers. Yeah. We've, we've decided to do balloon next. A Chinese surveillance balloon flying at 66,000 feet. And um, what did we say? It can only fly. At? Oh, we already know the answer to this. It can only fly at 30,000 feet. So watch it fly directly above it, unopposed. And it can drop his little. Careful what you say, Cap. Chinese man. I can say that, can't I? Intelligence load. Load. You can get gain intelligence. Gone intelligence about its position. No, no, that's right. It's dropping weather radar zones. I know, I changed my mind. That there is a phaser or a laser that shoots. It gathers the uh, sun's electric from these panels and it fires a la sharp laser beam down. Funny right. thing, Cute Iron you. Dome now has a new module just in testing mm -hmm. and uh, it's a laser for intercepting missiles oh. and drones. What's everyone doing with lasers at the moment? Surely that can't be and in use. It and it's the first laser that's now operational. Cool, I mean, if it works. Cool. Energy weapons. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Zero, delay, zero delay between fire and impact. I tell you what, guys, out of interest, this is so fun because because 1985 or three, I forgot what it was, my dad was shipped off to the United States to work on a project called Star Wars by Mr. Reagan sanctioned. And um, it was all about developing a laser system that can actually track and fire, shoot a thing down at huge distances, hundreds and hundreds of miles. Um, and it was given up on. It was deemed to be too hard, too expensive, and they just use it as kind of a propaganda type of thing in the end. Um, but he did try. And um, now, finally, one, two, three, four, five, 40 years later, they're finally developing these weapons. Obviously, it's not going to intercept it, viewers. We know it's not because it flies too high. Da da! Chinese balloon! The funny part does Cap. <laughs> how less the cost are per shot. Yeah, right. I mean, well, there's, I you know. just charge it up and fire it, right? And, it's yeah, like the Japanese have used lasers to like take out moths, like as a anti um, bug repellent thing. Um, pew pew uh, pew. Uh, you're taking bug. Okay. Fine. I guess that's a good use. Sure. Of it. Why not? Uh, guys, um, you can carry on talking in a minute. But viewers, now it's the 2020s with F-35 with in their bellies Argum uh, ERs. They are the America's latest anti-radiation missile. They're about 160 miles range, as you're about to see. So, Argum ER, continue talking. Let's see these get shot out of the sky now. Yeah, Amy. Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> wow. Me love you game, game best game. Fool. It's like formation swimming. <laughs> it is, but kind of more violent. And awesome. It's the best kind of violent. There we go, viewers. Argum ER. So, do it I again. Don't, I don't know if you're watching. I, you guys are probably too busy, but I was watching those harms be intercepted. And to me, it looked like... These are firing 150 miles away, by the way, so they were ages to get there. It looked to me like the missiles were actually... I don't know. F when you watch the video, when it comes out, it almost like they were flying off in the wrong direction, cancelling themselves, turning back around, doing a loop around the harm, and then trying to hit the harm and missing. <laughs> That's what it looked like to me. So... And they should be, theoretically, harm is pretty similar to one of those BM-21 rockets. They should be able to work. 
So that's interesting. Let's have a quick look at the Argon viewers. It's like a modern day harm viewers. Uh, it is in service now, but have, it's never, never been fired in anger or anything as far as I'm aware. Um, how do they work? Don't know. I guess no one really knows, but they're packed full of EW to protect themselves, which is not modeled in game because it can't be modeled in game. That is all. Hey, Cap. Yeah. Funny thing oh, again. Sugar. Missiles. Missiles out. Germany is now uh, having their ID, um, not IDS, ECR uh, tornadoes, so electronic warfare. And we putting that next generation harm what? under them. What? Yeah, of course it's the. No, no, we have. Uh, yeah, they're going the wrong way. way. They're firing, they're going the wrong way. This is what happened to the harm. Why? And then they turned around again and did a 180 and then chased the harm. It's the EWR. Yeah, I was going to say those Occam's EWR. Out. Look, look at that. It really is happening, <laughs> viewers. They're going the wrong way. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Or a I um... don't know. <laughs> I mean, why? Uh, why is it happening? It's not uh, one thing you could say. This is a mod by CH, and you could say maybe CH made something funny. But no, there's AGM 88. It's a cool game. So it's not a mod thing. It's a, it's a thing thing. Or it's an Iron Dome mod thing. Maybe. Core game, best game. Uh, I don't know. Core game, yeah. best game. Yeah, I don't think it likes mods. Well, no, the, the AGM 88 isn't a mod. Uh, the other one, that was a cool game. From, and it did the same thing against them. Oh, oh, oh they blew up! Oh, I, I think they're crashing into each other. I, I think I'm almost certain I've fired so many of these. I've shot them too close to each other. They're firing, they're crashing into it. They will get through. You can see they're getting through. They're crashing into each other. Oh, yeah, they. No, they get through. Got through. Yeah. Bang, dead. Um, that was a masterclass in weird, viewers. Because look at those <laughs> ones. They looped around and come all the way around like that. It hit their own land. Ah, uh, strange. <laughs> um, we're Pitch of Broken. Uh, what is this? Not High Mars. Iron Dome. Iron Dome. Iron Dome. Well, there you go, viewers. I can only put the thing and make, make the thing fire up the thing. Gather from that what you want. Uh, right, guys. We are going to move to ground launch systems now, starting with the BM-21 Grad. Hey, I'm 25. I, have, I still have time, yeah? Yes, you do. Welcome back, viewers. We were talking about parenting and how not to parent. That is all. Uh, right, next is going to be the BM-21, which is Soviet, I think. I think it's from the 1960s. It was a unguided rocket set here. 40 rockets. Uh, standby, I guess. All we're missing is Moscow, Moscow on repeat. And the Soviet theme. How does that go? Da, 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 da. Yep. As far as these viewers, they are some kind of rocket. Careful, Cap. You might be copyright struck. That was too good. Well, I am pretty good. Look, I caught it. Just hmm. kind of popping out of his, popping his little wow. nose out there. Look at that. I'm so cool. Uh, Very goggin. Oh, they're already firing. Look at that. Wow, that is some serious... Let's take a look at the missile while we can. Uh, it's that. It's a missile. That's it really we'll looks know. like a smaller Sidewinder. Nah. Or a smaller thin nah. Sidewinder. It's like an S350, a mini S350 to me. Uh, right, guys, let's watch it do its thing. Going backwards again? No, it's going... It's, no, that's, that's the right direction. That's the right direction. Opposite the Sea of Galilee, which is break. I'm actually I'm confused now. I'm well, hoping it's going. Yes, it's blowing. It's blowing stuff up there. Yeah. Wow. Pause. Look at that. That's what pretty much you would be seeing in Israel right now. Is is the rockets making it to near Israel or into Israel, and then them being intercepted just a few miles out. Look at that. I'm assuming they're being intercepted. Let's go and watch from here. I, yeah. I would yep. wonder yeah. what. Wow. Like shrapnel then fall down. It, it would, but. It would have a lot of air resistance since it's all yeah, in fragments. Slow down, slow down, I guess, wouldn't it? I mean, you wouldn't want to get hit yeah. by it, but... No, but, you know, it'd be smaller fragments, so terminal velocity would be a lot slower for this. Oh, this one's gone past yeah. it, look. This one's gone... Oh, it's still blown up. Look at it. Shown that one. Yeah. You got teeth. I mean, it reminds me of um, the uh, Patriot Mark 1s intercepting the Scuds above... Oh god, I've gotten I've got baby brain, but I've got that place. And even when they intercepted them, they still did just as much damage because Look at that! Did you oh. see that? Did you see that? Chase him. It chased him. That's amazing. That one's turned around. There. Did you see that viewers? It turned around and is now chasing him. Jesus Christ, it's chasing forward. It's acting like expected <laughs> thrusted. <laughs> yes, it chased it and chased it down. Huh. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Iron Dome versus BM twenty one. It worked, all forty were shot down. 
And as they, uh, what's the real life, obviously gamers game viewers, take it, always take it with a pinch of salt, right? But what's the real life PK of Iron Dome versus those grads in real life Grumptastic? A range between 85 and 97% uh, successful intercept rate. One of the reports that I do have said that one attack specifically, there was a 97% success rate. That was a couple hundred rockets that were launched to Israel. Also, question viewers, and I know I said I wouldn't get into the politics, but where is Gaza? Bearing in mind, it's the tiniest little country you've ever seen. Where are they getting all this Soviet gear? from because this is like full soviet gear they're getting like, Iran. it's old but oh there you go that was easy like i said grump yeah. knows everything as in you can literally read, read wikipedia guys this is high mars by the way it fires break uh brand new american missile you might like this grump prsm i don't think it's in service yet um it's well we're about to find out i haven't fired it yet ch has just added it to game here it goes i think there's two of them in there there they are, there they are. Fake fronts, obviously, as you can see. Jesus. Back there, viewers. PRSM, precision something smart missile or something. Uh, it's designed to beat like Russian and Chinese defenses. Something, something, or something, something. Well, it's above the uh, range of the Iron Dome now. That's actually a fair point, right? Um, hmm. Oh, that could be interesting. So when it's coming it's a... down of very high speed. Yeah. It's a precision precision strike missile. Speaking of precision, viewers, tell me what's the difference between precision and accuracy. It's fired. Is it firing the right way? It's firing the wrong way. Of course it is. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going the wrong way and crashing into the ground. Um, I can't. I don't know the reason. It can't get a solution. Meme. Basically, it can't. It can't get a solution, can it? Yeah. That's what's I think happening. It might be mod related. I don't know. Yeah. Mod, I mean, I don't like mod. I guess so. That's disappointing. Uh, the, weird, the weird thing is, there's nothing, uh, there's nothing Star Warsy here. This is a missile. It's a missile in core game. It's a missile in in a, a mod. It's just a lump, an object that flies. There's nothing really that should be upsetting it here. It's, it's more it or less only a guided version of a scat VF in game. I wonder if it's the speed, guys. You know, it's the speed of the and the harms are quite fast as well. These are going. I can't work that out. Mark four, Mark five. I wonder if it's that. They just can't cope with it. Can we like test a uh, scat, core game scat here? Yeah, can do. Yeah, got through. Easy. Uh, didn't work, viewers. They just, they just can't intercept them. I know it looks weird, but it's possible they, that, that could be true. It could be that they simply can't intercept them. Obviously, in real life, they wouldn't just fire off in some random direction, but it's indicative of I can't intercept that thing. It's too fast or it's too something. We're trying an M270 now, guys. Yet another brand new asset from CH added to game. It's a modernized version. It has Gimlers. It has uh, Guided Bomb. It has Attackums in it. And I've put Gimlers in it because it can fire 16 of those SOBs. Ladies and gentlemen, M break 270A1 with Gimblers. Let me guess, it goes weird again. Oh, it's all, no, it's just it's working. It is working this time. I had to go in the wrong way to go into the Sea of Galilee. Not the best Run example. away! Run away! Little, <laughs> guys, that little pedals behind the first set of fins, is that the guidance or what is that? Oh, it's not very aerodynamic, whatever the hell it is. Look at that. Yeah. It's a mirror, so it's. Oh. Look behind it. <laughs> <laughs> Am I outrunning the missile? Am I outrunning the missile? <laughs> uh, oh, he's standing on me. We'll have to send this information back to the makers of the mod viewers and ask to fix it, obviously. But what do you want to do? What do you want me to do, viewers? Maybe the speed again. It's about my 3Ds are, so. I mean, what? American tech. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do start a conspiracy here. Cap is that because it's American biased. Hey, it might be American biased. Who knows, viewers? I don't know, yeah, the American, I mean, the American. Cut off for Americans. Well, you wouldn't think so. I mean, these guys, this, these here are made by Israelis, the, the Israeli guys in DCS. The American stuff is made by a Swede. So who knows, guys? It's all getting a bit confusing. Um, what have we missed, guys? We've missed all the Ishkanders. Why not? Let's go and try the Ishkanders. Obviously, we found some major problems with the mod viewers, but we'll punch on because it's our job at the end of the day. Let's try it. Ishkander K, each firing four caliber subsonic cruise missiles. Now, here's a really good test because these are mods, but they're subsonic. Will it be able to cope with them? And the BM-21 grads are subsonic that they're shooting down in real life as well, as in by the time they get to the ballistic point. So this will be a really interesting. This will us whether it's the speed that's the problem or not. Yeah, but the SCAD is core game and it's supersonic. All right, well, we did, but I mean, it's supposed to be able to shut down. You know, that right. would be an interesting mm -hmm. thing. All right, we'll do it. Patience. Yeah. Right, here we go, viewers. 
gonna speed it up because they're just slow, they only go 400 knots. It's that, it's a caliber, you all know what caliber is now. It's a kind of cheap ass cruise missile from Break Russia. Are they already in use in, in Ukraine? Calibers? Yeah, kind yep. of shot like a million calibers at Ukraine. Uh, yeah, they're, they're talking about uh, being able to intercept them and shoot most of them down now. Yeah. Like 90% uh, success they're not, rate. They're not good missile. I mean, they're, they, they, they're designed to fly along a preset path and bang into an object. Isn't it the, isn't it the uh, caliber that we uh, shot down with uh, man pads? Yeah, we did. They, yeah. They, they're, they're yeah. a turbojet engine on them and they make heat and it goes relatively slow. They are, they're not easy to shoot down. It was, it's yeah, there's a, a video of, out there of them doing it. In real life. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I yeah we did a video on it, Cap. I don't know, we did it, yeah, but yeah, I was just asking about real life. Yeah, it was, it was based on an actual video. Ah, they're going the right way. Look, they're going the right way. Look at this. They're working this time, viewers. It's a modded missile, but it's subsonic. And it's working there. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, got it. I got it. Arms are supersonic too, yeah? So maybe that's really the reason. That's an interesting uh, bug feature to figure out, I guess. The way I would look at it, guys, is you know when they fly off and go silly? I would look at, I know it looks silly, but that, that that's just meaning they can't get a solution. So what I'm thinking I'm seeing here is anything above a certain speed appears to be Mach 2-ish. They just cannot, they just cannot, they can't do it. They can't do the thing. Anyway, they're all shot down. Uh, next, hypersonic Eskander M. Yeah, fires a, yep. well, you'll see in a minute, viewers, if you haven't seen it already. Fires a big, funking thing. Right. Whoa, that's a big oh. missile. That's a big missile. Uh -huh. Real bunker. I always wonder how good these are in real life. Uh, Looks like the Kingsall. Is that the Kingsall? It's the it's the ground launch variant of its slightly uh, different version, but it is essentially oh, it's, a Kingsall, yeah, with a Mark it's Five, Mark gone Six to space, so it, probably won't yeah. get it. Yeah, it flies a bit differently to how it does in real life. It's the closest we can get with in game. All right, can anyone see it? There it is. Dot. I am a dot. You are. I uh, believe so. Oh my God, it's firing. Now it's going to fire the wrong Into way. Into the wrong direction. Yeah, they're in the wrong direction. Yep, they're in the wrong direction. Same thing. And hit their own cities. Oh, no. I think it's saying to me, I can't compute a solution, so I'm just going to fly off from some random direction. Let's watch it down. Away. No, we're going to watch this because it's a freaking hypersonic missile about to smash into that thing. Who doesn't want to see this? Yeah, Sydney and Willis. Away from, look away from the war crimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, I'm going to watch here. Watch this thing oh, come in, guys. coming. Watch this thing come in, Mark 6. It's so fast. Intercepting, that's a very hard thing to do. I'm still far enough. I will keep, keep firing. Uh, one more thing you wanted to scud? Someone wanted to scud? Ich bin ein scud? Yeah. Someone said something about scud. All right, just going to try it then, viewers. I almost I, I know the it, same. In, in reality, it's uh, able to intercept. All right, viewers, scud. Just going to have a quick... I was going to say, it was designed to take on small missiles from Hamas, so these supersonic, hypersonic mm -hmm. missiles are probably not what it's designed for. Mm -hmm. Viewers, we're just doing scud real quick. Um, you will know what a scud is by now. Cap, what's a scud? <laughs> well, sweet. Ladies and gentlemen, Grump, he'll be here all day. This thing goes about Mark 4, maybe up to Mark 5, viewers. It's, it's semi-ballistic, it's semi-hypersonic. Pew! And we're off. how missiles haven't really changed since the V2. And one interesting thing about the Scuddies viewers, and this is what you guys tell me, the viewers tell me, this is where I pretty much learn everything from, is that the Scud was terrible, obviously, but it came as several variants that every decade they kind of got a new variant. And by the end, they were almost precision Scuds. So uh, Scud is old Scud's bad, new Scud, pretty, can't swear anymore. Good, whatever a swear word for Pretty videos. epic. There we go. Uh, right, here it goes, viewers. And uh, it's just, I don't want to waste your, your valuable time, viewers. You're all busy doing things. Suck your hours in watching this rubbish. They're not gonna, even going to fire this time. Not even going to fire. It did go to space. But it did? It went the wrong way. Yeah, it went the wrong way. Yeah, that's it. It cannot compute the solution. It's as simple as that. It's, watch the missile hit. Ladies and gentlemen, 1960 scar. Look how accurate it is. We missed. We nearly hit the same C. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, out of interest, Cap, because I saw those launchers, they are all facing one direction. Do you think that has anything to do with it? They don't look like they can turn. Yeah, we'll uh, go and debug that quickly. I doubt it. The reason I doubt it is because I've actually attacked it from all different angles today. Um, mm. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I mean, they are highly mobile, so... We'll fire, we'll... I don't know. Just to debug it, yep. Yeah. I mean, do these missiles go pitbull pretty immediately after the launch? Don't even know if they've got radar. Don't know anything about them. Viewers, uh, what we've done there, if you were sort of listening, is that Grump said, well, 
but a lot of the times they've missed, they've actually been facing the wrong direction. I highly, they're almost VLS, so I doubt we'll make any difference, but we'll try it just to, just to debug it. All right, fire that scud. I'm almost certain it's just a compute, it can't compute. When the thing it's shooting down wants to go above Mark II, whatever it is, pretty sure it just can't compute anymore. But here we are for science. Science, oh, the missile's already fired. Um, and the missile's already Press hit. Press F6. I, oh, I did times 800 speed, and it's 36 <laughs> hours later. Um, oh my god. I'll try that again, shall I, yes. <laughs> it's like, it's a campus select for general that told like, hey, they fired a missile. Oh, fire back, fire back. Yeah, but it I am was like tired. six hours ago. Yeah. But I am let tired. Reviewers, a thing appears to have happened. The boys were distracting me, you might say. Fire. Yow. Right, so let's see. They should be firing towards Lake Tiberius. Are they going to fire towards Lake Tiberius, which is that way? Why well, I already have a feeling they fire and turn immediately away. Yes, they have. They turned yeah. away. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was worried to try. <laughs> oh, well, good try, viewers. <laughs> right, guys, we're going to summarize that for you. Basically, I think I'm getting this right. Anything that was roughly kind of up to Mark II, to use up the speed of sound, it handled fine, including aeroplanes. As soon as the thing it was shooting down, I think, got more than Mark II, this happened. It can't compute, and it just does whatever that is. It's trying to calculate a solution, and it can't. You know, the solution goes through the world, which is silly, obviously. Um, is that realistic? I don't know. Don't know. What do you want me to say? No idea. It's like the uh, Russian S300s. That's what they're using them for. Ground attack. And serious <laughs> note, S300, S400, Patriot system, they were all developed for ground attack as well. They all do ground attack. They were designed to do ground attack as well as anti-air. I learned that only a few weeks ago on a TV show, a fictional TV show. That one where that spy and that guy and that woman with Tourette's. You know that one? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> anyone, anyone else trying to get any kind of logic out of this? So far the mod, it's good made and everything, but it needs some bug fixing because SCAD should be interceptable. Oh, well, that's a fair and, point. Who uh, said that, yeah. by the way? Who is it a real thing? It should be able to do it. Yeah, yeah. They, oh, right. they fired uh, uh, scuds into Israel and they got intercepted. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, in that case, then, viewers, idea of projects, go away, fix it, make it work, and we'll come back and we'll try it all again with the supersonic and hypersonics and see what can get by it. But that's how it is at this point. First of May. Wow, first of May 2023. Bye-bye.